Why, hello, YouTube. Welcome back. This is Belly Mage. And our next build, 3.17. Another minion build. We got two of them. Minions are exceptionally good this league. Uh, is the Skeletal Mage build. This one is uh, Ildris's favorite build, or at least favorite minion build. Um, and the one he ran last league, which uh, he got a little bit fine-tuned last league while he was running it. Uh, there were some additions in Scourge, like the ability to wear rare boots that we can't do anymore because we don't have Scourge. But overall, the build didn't really change at all. And at best, wor like worst case scenario, losing the Scourge stuff lowered our power by like 2 to 5% from Scourge, which is, is fine because we're still quite easily doing about 7 mil damage in the clear setup not counting Val summon skeletons and not counting any of the extra minions you have. So this still ends up quite powerful. <clears throat> this one is not quite as easy to start and level with as the Absolution build and is also still a little weaker early than the Absolution build, especially early maps and especially before you get your first medium cluster and your one dead reckoning jewel. Once you get those, Skeletal Mages looks like it's probably a little bit stronger. And uh, the biggest downside of the Skeletal Mage build, and the biggest reason most people may pick the Absolution build, is as you can see, there is a lot of stuff going on on the screen. The visual clarity is not really good, and uh, a lot of systems can't handle it. But if your system can handle it, it is fantastic. So... Moving into the path of building, we have our path of building here. Ildris put this one together, so it's quite a lot nicer than our other ones. Uh, we have leveling links, links for melee skeletons for before you get the mage jewel, uh, even the spell leveling links that you would use beforehand. The note sections is a little bit filled out, so there's, there's a few notes in there that'll help you. Um, there's also a bunch of different skill trees with the final endgame tree and early endgame tree as you can see the very first and most important cluster jewel that you'll want to get as early as possible is in that you're looking to get that as early as possible that is very important it basically makes your skeletal mages immune to damage i mean technically only for four seconds but nothing in no individual mob lasts four seconds unless it's a boss and even then, most of them don't, and you can resummon skeletons. So you can do reflect maps and everything with that. Makes it quite nice. We have late leveling, how you should get to maps in, uh, a little halfway through tree. And then you can see in some of these earlier leveling ones that he's actually got some brand nodes. And that is because it's a lot faster to level with brands than it is to level with skeletons that aren't skeletal mages because we can't have mages on our league start in the first few acts. We have to put up with regular melee skeletons, which aren't really that good. So you don't necessarily have to follow this. You don't have to level this way. You could also have a glance at the absolution uh, links and tree, and you could level with absolution until it was time to change over to minions. The change to minions tends to happen relatively early still, uh, feeding frenzy is the answer when you can change to skeletons as normal skeletal warriors instead of skeletal mages the answer is you need feeding frenzy as soon as you've got feeding frenzy and you can put them in a full link feels great before that feels a little bit uh, i'd rather level with either spells or you could level with absolution and then change into this also a really good option either way this is going to be super popular it's a very very simple very tanky build you don't really have to aim at all. There's honestly not that much player skill involved, which is really great because the build just carries you. And that's honestly one of my favorite things in builds is when I don't have to be good because the build is, and I'm not. Um, anyway, yeah, that's Skeletal Mages. I personally will probably be starting Storm brand occultists so we might do a video guide on that as well but i don't suggest people follow that one because it's going to be quite a lot lower dps than 
than these ones. Yeah. So this should be good. Again, path building will be in the description. Link to the absolution build will be in the description. Please, if you lack videos, please remember to comment and like the video for the YouTube algorithm gods because it is how we remind them that we exist because we didn't upload videos for like a month at the end of last league. And now we're getting back into it. Uh, I will see everybody next time.